to Rabbit Ridge Outdoors. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about why y'all need a long tail mud motor. It's going to be fun. Y'all stick around. The only negative thing I have to say about these mud motors is, is that there is no reverse on the long tail. So in order to turn around, sometimes you have to paddle, actually move the back of the boat around with the motor. But after you get used to it, it's no big deal. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that you run these long-tailed mud motors standing up. So it is important to have a set of grab bars mounted to your boat to keep you from face planting in the bottom of it. All this is is black pipe that I've welded to plates and bolted on the boat. So I can take these off and put the outboard back on the boat and turn it right back into a regular fishing rig. If you need to run in shallow water with a lot of obstacles in the way, the mud motor is the way to go. It's a very dependable style setup and it's really easy to work on. It's virtually indestructible. Now these mud boats don't have to be expensive. What I have on my boat is a 420cc Predator motor from Harbor Freight. A lot of people talk trash about them, but it served very well on my boat. That frame is a Go Devil frame that had a blown motor on it. So I picked it up pretty cheap, but luckily the shaft and everything was in good condition. I slapped that motor on there and we're rocking and rolling. Now the most important thing to look for when you're looking for one of these frames is just to make sure that it's straight, the shaft's not bent, and you can always just go to Harbor Freight and find you a motor to put on one of these. There's four bolts on the bottom of it and it bolts right up to the shaft. You can go to Harbor Freight for $450, $500. You can get a 13 horse motor with a, a two year protection plan for that and you can run it in the dirt, replace it, and they're just, they're, they're easy to work on. Now, it is absolutely crucial to have a kill switch wired into your mud motor. So if you ever fall out of the boat, this will pull out and kill the motor. It'll save you from flipping, crashing, sinking, all of the above. That's it for me today. Hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Y'all be sure and like and subscribe. Till next time, y'all take care. Appreciate y'all watching.